Welcome to Citizen Survival Plan, and welcome back if you've been here before. Today, I have an interesting topic, and a lot of ham operators plague the channel with their constant comments. And it's okay, we appreciate comments, it drives the algorithm here, and it is helpful for the channel. But one thing that I always kind of disagree with in the comments with ham radio operators is, you can't be sufficient with radio unless you have your ham operator's license. In today's video, I'm gonna kinda of talk about ways that you can get around this. If you don't wanna get a ham license, if you want to not spend time becoming a ham operator and just wanna operate on all bands without taking a ham operator test. Let's start with the three bands that you would want to use as a prepper. There is UHF, that is ultra high frequency. There is VHF, that is very high frequency. And then there is HF, that is high frequency. High frequency is a longer wave. It's a longer radio wave. It works a little bit different than UHF and VHF. Here's how you can use all three bands without taking a test. One thing you're gonna have to do for, and this is gonna be, in my opinion, as a prepper, this is gonna be your main use of radio. That's UHF. This is a really good flexible band for talking locally and some extended local communications. Simplex, if you have a base station, UHF is good for anywhere between one mile and 30 miles. If you use a repeater, you can, you know, bump that up to about 70 miles, 75 miles-ish. You are going to need to go apply for a GMRS license. There's no test. It's 35 bucks. You just have to navigate the FCC website. It's kind of annoying, but it's not impossible. There's no test. You can get it overnight. This is going to be your main source of communication, in my opinion, as a prepper. Everyone's going to be on GMRS. Most people use UHF, GMRS, to communicate on their bow fangs. Whenever you see the tactical dudes going around shooting and stuff. This is, this is what they typically tune their radio to. So that's going to be your general channels. If you want to use some VHF radio bands, simply type in the MERS frequencies. I will put them on the screen. You can pause it. And you could type these into a Baofeng, or even better yet, put them in Chirp and upload them into any radio you want, including, and this is where you're going to break the rules a little bit with MERS, because MERS is limited to 2 watts. But if you put this into, let's say, a 25-watt ham radio, like a ham radio that you can buy, you can hook a tri-band antenna up on top of your house, and you can operate the UHF and VHF frequencies out of a little bit more power. Now keep in mind, this is bending the rules, so it's not advisable to constantly transmit like this, but if you do it here or there and you just set it up for SHTF, this is gonna be highly useful. The difference between UHF and VHF is pretty close, and sometimes, and a lot of ham radio operators will say this too. If you can't reach somebody on UHF, switch over to VHF. And if you can't get somebody on VHF, switch over to UHF. They kind of interchangeable. They kind of work a little bit different than each other, but are close and they can give you the advantage of using both systems in a tight spot. Now, as far as your HF, this is gonna be a little bit more complicated, but not impossible. So we're moving up into HF here. So this is high frequency. This is where you start getting into skywave propagation. And CB radio is the channels you're gonna to wanna to operate on, but what you might wanna consider doing, and this is not legal advice, 
You can consult with a lawyer or whoever you want to with this. I don't think anyone's going to care. I've seen people do it a million times. But take a 10 meter ham radio. And there's a couple different models you can get. It's easy to look up. I can link some in the description of this video. But you take a 10 meter radio because CB operates at 11 meters. And the 10 meter will, will with some modification, will operate on the 11 meter band. It just takes a little bit of unlocking. There's a like a type code you can put in the radio or a fuse or something you can pull inside the radio to let a 10 meter radio operate on 11 meters. Now, why would you do this and not just use a CB radio that operates on 11 meters? Well, the power on an actual CB radio is so limited that that four watts or I think it's 12 watts on SSB isn't really going to give you very much range or very good skywave propagation. So, Take a 10 meter, modify it over, and you can push 20, 50 watts if you want through CB. Now this is, again, this is where it's technically illegal, but if you're setting a radio up for SHTF and you want some extra range, this is doable. You can practice with this a little bit. I wouldn't go crazy with it. There's gonna be people in the comments who say, this is absolutely not a problem. And we do it all the time. And then there's going to be some people that say, oh, it's illegal and the FCC is going to kick your door in. I don't think that's going to happen. Again, you guys are adults. If you need to consult a lawyer or something or ask around the Internet, go for it. I would not have a problem doing this. A little bit of extra power on the CB bands is probably not going to alert the attention of anybody to you. I want to take one second to point out, even if you got your technician's ham license, you still would only have this many privileges into the HF bands. You get a little bit on phone on the 10 meter band only. So in order to use even more HF privileges with your ham license, you would actually have to bump up to your amateur extra, advanced, or general. So you barely get any privileges anyways when you get a ham technician license, which is one of the lower ones, but still requires you to take a test. So there you go. If you wanted to get into UHF, VHF, and HF with some actual capability, this is the way that I would do it. One of the cool things you could do is just grab a Baofeng radio, and in Chirp, you can click upload the GMRS, and you can type in the five MERS channels, and then obviously for HF, you need a whole nother radio for that. But for a SHTF radio, a waterproof Baofeng, or just a regular UV5R, throw MERS in it, throw all your GMRS channels in it, get a GMRS license, and you can do pretty good. One thing to consider is there is so much ham infrastructure. That is, uh, the ham radio operators have put up repeaters everywhere. One thing to consider is you're not going to be able to use their infrastructure. But if you have a GMRS license, you can use the repeaters on GMRS. You just have to apply for that license. I hope this video was helpful to get a simplified look at getting into all bands without taking a test. This is John with Citizen Survival Plan. We'll see you in the next video.